Leslie from A Friend in It With. Welcome to episode 30 of A Friend in It With podcast. Today is September 15th, the day before we're leaving for Spain to take Libby to Spain. This is my daughter, Libby. Hi, everyone. Hi, knitters. <laughs> if you've stumbled upon this channel, it is a channel mostly about knitting. So if you like to knit as much as I do, then you're in the right spot. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I am glad we're friends to knit with. So I just wanted to pop on here quickly because on the last several episodes, I have talked about how much I love the daily pullover and that I was making it for Libby because she requested one for Spain. So I did finish hers in time for her to take it to Spain. And I did make a few modifications from the pattern. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that, but it is a top-down raglan and it has short rows in the pattern on the neck and in the lower back. And I didn't do those, either of those for Libby. So mm -hmm. I think it worked out perfectly. I don't know if it's necessary. My neck does come a little bit higher than Libby's. I'll show you what hers looks like, but I kind of like that. It's just kind of a little bit straight across the neckline there. And mine comes just up higher here. So I guess it's your preference, but I don't think it's necessary. If you don't wanna do short rows, you certainly don't need to. And I don't notice any difference in the length on Libby. Do you mind, can you just? Yeah. Um, see it? Yep, yeah, that's great. Okay. Like I don't see any difference in her length in the back. It actually probably would have been too, she probably wouldn't have liked it if it was longer in the back. Uh, so short rows are not, but it's up to you. The two dye lots look really different on the screen. They do. Think? Yeah, yours looks Mine's a, a lot, lot darker. darker. Uh, but on Libby's, I only used not even two balls. I have this left of her second ball. I didn't even start the third ball. And I think that had to do with the short rows. Uh, I, hers is the second size, as is mine, so it's the small, or yeah, I think it's extra small, small, so this is the small. Uh, I love the detail in the neckline so much. I did make it in the chestnut, I think it's called, no, nutmeg. Uh, I always forget the name of this color. <laughs> but this is the nutmeg. I love it. Libby just said, oh my gosh, you made it in brown too? <laughs> I said that I want it in every color. <laughs> it is that Perfect good of a sweater. sweater. It is. The She's linen quill cut. that I used in both of these is just dreamy for a sweater. Uh, it, I don't know the temperature right now, 72 here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And even this is not that Doesn't hot. Feel, yeah. We're inside where I film without even any air conditioning, so feels pretty good. It's great. So she gets to pack it and yes. take it with her for the next 10 months. Yes. So I'm very excited. Very excited. What's your favorite part about it? Um, I just like, I really like the length because I wear high-waisted jeans all the time. And so it's a perfect length because I can tuck it in the high-waisted jeans. But it also would work well with mid-rise jeans too. Um, I really like the simplicity of it because it can just be worn over and over again with styled in different ways. It could be worn with a little blouse underneath. It can be worn with a scarf, a coat, anything yeah. like that. And yes, it is. It's like lightweight. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I like that it's not super heavy. Yeah. Um, it's light. It's easy to pack. It's a daily. Which is daily essential for for going to Europe for so. ten, so she's going for ten months, and they told them to lay all your clothes out, and then that you want to take, and then only take half. Yes, yeah, so, so she's we did checking that. one bag, and she's pretty much packed. We're both pretty I much know. packed. That's why I was able mm -hmm. to get her <laughs> to come on this because I could help her pack. Yes. Uh, I did actually add length. It, there, it is a cropped version. This mine, at, I added, or I don't know how many exactly I added, but I knitted. I knit 12 inches before I started the ribbing and with Libby's I did 10 inches. 
So hers is a little shorter, but we are a little bit different in body. Like yes, definitely I'm a short torso. <laughs> I have a long one. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. That I'm is <laughs> water break. <laughs> That is what I have off of the needles. Uh, the last episode, I did tell you that I was making a Sophie scarf, which I think Libby would love these over so there cute. too. Uh, this is a little thin. I, I mentioned my hesitation in the yarn I was using the last time. So it is a little thin. I thought it was gonna look like a neck brace. I love it on a bag. This is my cute bag. So cute my friend Denise and I love it so much but so it is great tied on a little bag I'm gonna make I'm taking a ball of the camel yarn that I bought for another project that I frogged I'm gonna take that and somebody suggested if I ran thank you so much for the suggestion if I ran a um, mohair thread with this then that would probably thicken it and give it the structure that I want so that is a great idea if you have anything that's a little too flimsy and thin. And one other thing I was going to tell you what I was working on on the airplane. Shoot, I wanted you to show your purse strap. Oh, you might have to go get it. Oh. So I'm going to have Libby run over and get her purse strap as soon as I show you one other thing. And then I'm going to love the purse strap for those needle pointers. But I was watching Linda from For the Fun of Knit. For the Fun of Knit? I think it's for the fun of knit. Yep, Linda, I love your podcast. And she, you all know the ranunculus. I haven't never made the ranunculus. It is the most popular pattern on Ravelry. I don't know my hesitation in it, but if, if you don't know it, there it is. It can be made in any yarn for any body, and it is a one-size pattern. Absolutely so great. I don't know why mm -hmm. I have resisted. So this great. whole time. But I had some knit crate yarn out of one of my knit crate boxes and Linda made it in white and I have, she made it in a white Linda, white linen mm -hmm. and I had a white um, merino wool. So that's what this is gonna be. I'm making it on. Uh, so great. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I really wanted a white sweater. So, so great. I love a white sweater. I know. Really? So I don't have a white sweater. I don't know why. But I was very excited to have this in my stash. And I'll be working on this on the airplane. I did not have a magic loop. And I didn't have a needle small enough in circumference. So this is the very first time I'm using two size 10 needles the same length. And for all of those who said that they do that, I love it. It's really great to only work on half the stitches. So right. I'll be working on that on the airplane and I am expecting a special delivery. My husband and I are after we drop off Libby, drop her off. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to Portugal and I have a special delivery coming there. So I can't wait to see it and I'll tell you all about it. I might do some, some stories. Uh, well, no, it's not really a surprise, but just want to make sure the yarn comes and that everything goes as well. But I think it's going to arrive in Portugal when I'm there, in Porto. And it's for the Robina sweat. I think it's Robina sweater by Anne Bensel. And it's her newest design. And I loved it. So my friends over at Unling, I think that's how you say it, uh, had the yarn that it was needed. And I have a special delivery coming. So I'm very excited about that. So I'll be working on this until that arrives and maybe a Sophie scar. So we'll see. Okay. All right, well, I'll go get one okay. first. We'll get first I'll be back. Okay. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> uh, I did want to mention, I know I'm talking fast today, I think because we have some more things to, do. to do. And Libby was just sweet enough to join. Um, I did also it. forget that this is called Kettle Black, the color. Um, but obviously, the dial outs are. Which is different. so fun because. It's fun. They're the same, unique in their own way. Exactly. Totally. Exactly. And when you're traveling, this is what I like to do. I like to put it in shoe bags or purse bags or a little bag. So that's my project uh, on the airplane. I'm just keeping there super so light. Fun. 
So, all right. I made Libby go get what her summer project has been. And yes. So, um, I have been working on a purse strap um, this summer. And I'll go ahead and show you. Neo so, point. my aunt. Yes, I've been Neo pointing. I'm not sure if you've talked about Aunt Mimi in here. But my aunt, my mom's sister, is a very talented needle pointer. And she... Got me into needle pointing um, earlier this year, and a friend of mine did as well. Shout out Katie Bray. Um, so, anyways, I've been working on this um, needle point purse strap that says my name. It says Libby Friend, Libby Friend, Libby Friend, Libby Friend. <laughs> um, anyways, my aunt, she is so talented and charted out my whole name and all the letters. And so, yes, I picked these two colors because I thought they were neutral and good and a great we'll go with everything yes our favorite camo block and so yeah i have just a little ways to go about, about that much to finish up and um once i do hopefully i'll be able to somehow get my hands on it finished when it's in madrid maybe maybe not i might need to wait until i come yeah, back from madrid Amy comes over because she's a flight attendant so she might come over on a layover Bring it to me then. Can give it to her and then she'll finish it. So then what happens is uh, a finishing stitch goes on the edge. It's called the binding stitch. And it goes along the edge. And then Libby can, my aunt, my sister will take it back and have somebody put leather on the back with the buckle and everything. So it'll look completely, you know, professional. Mm -hmm. And it'll just... Look like that. I don't know. Are you going to do camel binding or black? Oh, well, whatever would look better with the whatever leather it is. Maybe black. I don't know. I think you're, I think you might want a camel so it prunes so, the letter. Oh, true. Oh, yes. Probably now looking at it. If I did black, it would just blend in with the letters and they might look a little bit long. Yeah. So, if you have any suggestions, yes. knitters, yes, comment right. below. Well, maybe even a different color. <laughs> True. Red. Whatever you think, knitters. Yes, if you uh, hear it. Think a hot pink. Yes. You actually could do anything. That's very true. So I'd love to hear your hot suggestions pink. in the comments. Yeah. Yes. And my aunt, she has, she loves her needle point store. She got me the cutest little bag from her needle point store in Orlando called the Black Sheep. Isn't that so cute? So and cute. it's clear so you can see your project. You can. We <laughs> love that. She has another little project in here. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's there. called a um, stitch and zip. It's a project that's already finished. So you just stitch on it and then you don't need to get it finished or pay for it to be finished yeah, of any be kind. It's just already finished. done and ready to use, which is really nice. Because in Spain, I'm not sure in there. Um, what the needlepoint situation is like, but... Anybody That's knows right. about that either? <laughs> Comment below. I'm sure, there's a needlepoint <laughs> store somewhere, right? I bet. I don't know. Does anybody know? Do people needlepoint a lot in yeah. Spain? I don't know. But I'm sure you can finish that on the plane. Do you have any friends in Spain? I do have some friends to knit with in Spain, <gasps> right? That have left me some nice comments on where yarn so shops are <gasps> in Madrid so and fun. Portugal. And for those of you who don't know, Libby's going over to teach English. Yes. She's a school teacher, second grade school teacher. Yes. And you're teaching. But this year I will not be teaching second grade. I'll be teaching K through eight. So it'll definitely be a change for me, but a very exciting, fun, fun change. change. You're racking too. That's right. But you will have lots of visitors. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. My Aunt Mimi, who's the needle pointer, she's going to come and visit me. My brother's going to come, which is very Your great. Dad. My dad is going to come. Hopefully, all my girlfriends. All friends. Yeah. Yes. You'll be busy. grateful for all the visitors and busy traveling. Mm hmm. So it was fun to get her on this very it last very time. Fun to be and on the um, until she gets back next summer, maybe you can come give a recap. Yes. Or if we get any chance to film and let's go ahead ever. We should, we should do a little vlog. <laughs> yeah, a little vlog. <laughs> just checking in. Or if we find a yarn store, we can go and go in and vlog. <laughs> for sure so you guys thank you so much for stopping by as usual and for all your lovely comments i appreciate every word that is typed with your fingers 
and because they should be knitting. <laughs> it should be like on the needles instead. So I hope you love your projects as much as we do. And yep, just just keep on going. So until next time. Yes. Bye knitters. Bye. So great to chat chat with you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember you always have a friend to knit with. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, forgot to mention that Tina and I are going to do a live on September 23rd for the Summer of Stripes Cow that we held this summer, which ran all summer long. I can't believe the summer's almost over. But the good thing is, is we get to don all our woolies that we've been knitting all summer. So that is fun. But if you've, you know, played along, we so appreciate it. And if you're interested and if you've won a prize or not, be sure to join us. We're gonna announce five winners and yeah. That's it. So thanks so much for knitting stripes. We had fun. Hope you did too. And yes, I'll see you soon. All right. Take care. What's today? Today is fifteen. Hey friends, Leslie from A Friend to Knit With. Welcome. Welcome to episode 30. <laughs> okay, start over. Okay. Okay. Should we turn on the air? <laughs> No, you're just hawking your nerves. Once you get started, uh, it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs>